What's up everyone? Today, based on one of my previous videos uh, about the charger that I use for the Model S and the Model 3, we're gonna go over the differences between the, the charger that comes with the 3 and the charger that comes with the S. I'm gonna show you the differences, what they do with the charging rates. And also see if there's a difference with the 110 outlet as well. So let's see what's in the bag first. First off, let's see what's in the bag for the Model 3. I've actually never even opened this thing, so except to get this out when we went public charging. So it looks like it's a little different actually. You have the 110 outlet, we have the NEMA 1450, or adapter, and then the charging brick itself, and of course the charging port. Let me show you the difference in the Model S charger. It's in this fancy cabinet that I built, but the same end that all, all the chargers have. Unlike the Model 3 charger, you have this right angle piece with the charging block itself. It, this comes with adapters. So you have this giant adapter that unplugs and you, you can plug into the wall and you have, you have the 110 one as well. I'm gonna take this, put this back together, plug that back into place. I'm gonna take that and plug it into the Model 3 and then we're gonna get a charging rate. It charges at 40 amps. I have a 50 amp breaker uh, running to this, running to the NEMA 1450 outlet and then we're gonna see what we actually get in the car. So I take the cord, push the button, plug it in, wait for the green light, and then we're gonna wait a little bit to let that ramp up to see what actually, what actually we get out of that while we set up the other chargers. So while that's ramping up, I'm gonna take the NEMA 1450 outlet, plug it into the adapter here with one hand. Oh helps if you put it in right. Plug it in place, that's really easy to do. And I'll hook that up. Once the Model 3 gets done ramping up, then we'll plug this in to see what the difference is. This is the Model S charger plugged in. You see we're at 40 amps, 240 volts at 33 miles per hour. And that's what I get out of this charger all the time. I'm gonna actually unplug all this and plug in the Model 3 charger and we're gonna see what the difference is. So I'm gonna take this, unplug that, we're just gonna kind of jam it in place right now. Uh, if I was gonna use this, I would flip that around or change this, bring that over to here. Hit the button, plug it in, wait for the green light. One thing I do notice here, the Model 3 cord is a little bit thinner. Um, this is the Model 3, this is the Model S cord. Uh, the Model 3 cord is thinner. Maybe that means it's not gonna be able to push out as much power through it. We'll see. The Model 3 cable is plugged in and right away we notice a difference. 32 amps is all you can pull from the Model 3 charger ca charging cable. You can't adjust it anymore, you can lower it, but you can't raise it up anymore. And that gives 27 miles, actually it was just at 28, it was 27, 28 miles per hour charge. Quite a bit of difference there. The other one was 33, so six miles difference. Five, six miles per hour. Uh, you know, that's gonna take a little bit longer to charge. So I'm gonna unplug those and we're gonna plug in the 110 outlet into the Model 3 charger. We're gonna see what that can actually do. It's gonna be slow, really slow. Once my wife gets home tonight, we're, I'm gonna take and do the same thing with the Model S. Why not? What else we got to do today? Unplug the adapter. Just rip it out, <laughs> plug in the 110, and then we're gonna plug it in the wall here and see what we can get. The cabinet? Oh, that actually lights up. So again, we'll take the cord, hit the button, jam it in. We got model three. Let's see if that Tesla logo moves. I gotta admit, that that's pretty cool. The outlet that that's plugged in, or the, the breaker that that outlet is plugged into is actually a 15 amp breaker. So we're gonna see what it actually does in the car. All right, it's been plugged in for a little bit now and that's a 15 amp breaker in the wall. Uh, so we're only getting 12 amps and right now we're actually getting nothing. And if we left it plugged in, 22 hours from now would charge the battery, that's not much. Um, I think that's right around 70%. This is gonna probably ramp up to maybe two miles per hour. Not very much at all. 110 outlets are really designed for if it's somewhere where you don't have any power available, you don't have 220 available, you're not by a supercharger, you're kind of stuck. Pretty much just an emergency adapter for that, so. 
I hooked up the Model S charger to the Model S and we're gonna see what charge rate we get. The Model S with the Model S charger charges at 40 amps and right now it's 26 miles per hour uh, of charge but we're over 50% already. She didn't drive very much today, so she's got, uh, it doesn't have much to charge. So usually that's about the same as what the Model 3 was at, like 32 miles. It's the same charger. So let's plug in the Model 3 charger to the Model S and see what happens. I just plugged in the Model 3 charger to the Model S and let's see what happens inside here. First thing we notice right off the bat, 32 amps. Obviously that charger is just set to 32 amps the output. That's all it can do. We're gonna see if we can bump that up. Now we can lower it, but we can't bump it up. So 32 is max on that charger. And it's probably gonna stay right now at the 20 miles per hour, just because it's going to be a five or six mile per hour difference, just like it was in the three. Again, that's all rated to how much battery we actually have on there and how how much how full it is right now and how much it has to go it doesn't have much to go so there you go Ho hopefully that was useful to see what the difference is between the charging of the model 3 and model s and why we use the model s charger instead of the model 3. it's always nice to have more charging uh, faster charging even if you're charging overnight uh, you know, this would be fine if this is all we had. And if, if all you have is the Model 3 charger because you have a Model 3 only, that's totally fine. It's just going to take maybe, it's going to take a little longer to charge. But when you charge overnight, it doesn't really matter. Uh, it's really when you have two vehicles and you want to charge. She charges overnight, but I actually charge during the day. So it's nice to have the Model S charger for the Model 3 because you get the higher output and you can get, put a little bit more power into the battery uh, quicker. Like the idea of a supercharger. But anyway, thanks for watching. Like the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and have a great weekend.